Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. I was not originally intending to film and post this video during palette week, but one of you guys requested I do an updated palette wardrobe tag, and I was more excited to film that than I was another one of my videos that I planned to post during palette week. So I was like, I'm gonna film this today. And then the other content I had planned to film, I can post sometime in July. So thank you so much to Steph or Stephanie. I never know, I personally, I if I'm in trouble, it's Stephanie, but any other time it's Steph. So thank you so much for requesting this video. I'm super excited to be filming it. And I went back and watched my last palette wardrobe tag, which I posted in December of 2020, I believe. Um, and it's just so interesting that none of my answers are the same. So I will leave that video posted down below, but I'll also be sharing throughout this video what my previous pick was as well as my current pick. I you guys, I spent an embarrassing amount of time sitting with my palette collection trying to pick palettes for each of the prompts. If you guys didn't know, this uh, wardrobe tag was originally created by Charlotte Holcroft and Morgan Turner, who will also be linked down below. And they gave, I believe it was 10 prompts to begin with of just different like occasions that like you would be going out to and what palette would you choose for those occasions. I have added five occasions that I, um, just wanted to for one reason or another in this video. It wasn't in my previous video. So there'll be 15 palettes that I have to share with you guys today. And it was really difficult for me, I think because I've also just changed the way that I like to do my eyeshadow. And so thinking through like, okay, if I could really only bring one palette on vacation, that would be impossible because I need like a neutral palette, a warm palette and a cool palette. But like truly if I could only pick one palette to bring on vacation, what is going to like give me everything that I'm gonna want? So if you guys are interested in my updated palette wardrobe tag, stay tuned. For you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project planning content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. My hair <laughs> feels like so dry and disgusting, um, but it's supposed to get to be like 90-ish degrees today. So I'm literally just gonna be swimming after filming this. So I decided not to do anything with my hair, but it is feeling ugh. If you guys have hair products that you like for like summer chlorine damaged hair, let a girl know in the comments below because I am needing that. Okay, you guys, let's kick it off with the occasion of a wedding and this could be your own wedding or a guest of a wedding and let me just tell you i am currently in the process of getting divorced and i do not intend to get married again and i'm you know i'm i'm at peace with that so that's just not even a thought in my mind at the current moment so i'm thinking like wedding guest and I also was thinking back to my sister finally got married um, last year. She was originally supposed to get married in 2020 and finally got married in 2022 due to having to put her wedding off for two years due to COVID and things like that. Um, so um, I would select and even like if I were to get married again, probably not like I'm, I don't know that I'm interested in that, um, but I would go I would likely wear this to my own wedding so this is the natasha denona glam palette this is what this palette looks like and it definitely is something that is more like aesthetically fitting to my cooler toned complexion and i feel like you can really go soft with this palette or you can really go super smoky super sultry this is a newer palette to my collection so i haven't um played around with this one that much but I already know just based on the color story and based on the amount of time I spent with my palette collection opening things up and being like, eh, maybe this, eh, maybe not. Um, this is the palette that I currently would pick for that occasion. I was shocked that in 2020 I said, um, as a wedding guest, I, because I was married at the time, um, still technically currently married, uh, I selected the Huda Medium Nude palette. And I was like, really? Like I get where I was going with that, but like, really? 
never would have guessed. Okay, you guys, next up is date night. This gal ain't, ain't going on dates right now, and I am happy with that. Um, but if I were to ever go on a date again, I would go with my ABH Jackie palette. And reason being is I just know that I feel so pretty and so confident when I have these three warm brown mattes as my like base matte look, and then we've got Zam all over the lids and Soleil in the inner corner. Like if I don't know what I'm doing, but I want something that's gonna pop and make me feel pretty, this is the look that I reach for. It's a look that I've recreated so many times. It wouldn't be something that I would be like nervous going into, like, is this gonna look good? Is it not? Because I've done the look so many times, so. This is the palette that I would select. And last time I did this, I said the, ooh, and I just realized I didn't even select this palette for a palette, which makes me kind of sad. But I said the Bronze Seduction Palette by Pat McGrath, which I do love that palette. And at the time I had like, that was likely like my go-to, like if my husband and I were going out to eat or something, that was like my go-to palette. But um, things have changed. <laughs> Okay, next up is girls night. And let me tell you, <laughs> me and the girls do not go out that much. Um, we are more homebodies, but I have had the same group of friends since literally my best friend has been my best friend since fourth grade. And then like the rest of my group of friends, we've been like best friends since like seventh grade. So like we're a tight, tight nip, not tight nip. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Tight knit group of gals. When we go out, it's a wild time. So I I actually am surprised that I picked this. I literally just sat down for like 30 to 40 minutes going through my, and I forgot that this is the one that I picked. But I would go with, because I would want something a little bit more cool toned, a little bit sultry, a little bit sexy. Um, I went with the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction Palette. And I like this because it is deeper, but then you just have these really, really, really beautiful sparkly pops. Um, and you can just have like the most sparkly, metallic, intense, eye-catching pop of sparkle on your lid. And that is what I feel like I would be going for if um, me and the gals were going out. That is to say, like, it also depends on like the occasion. Like sometimes we'll just go like daytime patio drinking and I likely wouldn't choose that. But if we're going like out at night, I'm laughing thinking about the last time we went out at night. That is the palette that I would choose. And in 2020, I said it was the Desi Katie Friendcation palette, which I added um, a prompt or an occasion to this year's tag, and I added a concert. Um, so you'll see the Desi Katie Friendcation palette. It's coming. It's coming. A lot of times when me and the gals go out, we go to country concerts. We'll talk about this later in the video. I've already talked about this a lot on my channel. Okay, next up we have the um occasion of going on vacation and again it would depend on like where am i going on vacation typically i'm going to like a warmer location um i'm about to go up north minnesota which is like things minnesotans do every single summer um and usually like if i'm traveling it's to a warm location in the freezing cold winter but you know from time to time like i could potentially be going like skiing snowboarding in like colorado haven't done that in a long time haven't been to colorado in a while but I'm thinking of like a warmer weather vacation and this is a palette that goes traveling with me just about every time if you guys are longtime subscribers can you guess i would love to know if you can guess the palettes that i'm going to say like i would love for you to like potentially keep like a tally as we go through the video and let me know how many you got right but colourpop limoncello it's a favorite palette of mine i feel like it's just so fitting and offers quite a bit of variety like if i'm just wanting one shade in the crease like we're just like running to the beach running like shopping whatever um i have that option but then like say we're going to like and i don't know who we're talking about like like where <laughs> i don't know um maybe me my mom and my sister that's likely who i'd be traveling with you know girls trip 2024 it's on the horizon but anyway um i have like varieties of like little fun pops of color i have a green which i absolutely love i have yellows i just feel like this is a really fun palette um and really versatile even though maybe like to the every day eye maybe it doesn't look that versatile but i find it to be very versatile and it's also come with me on many a vacation many a trip so that would be my pick for that that was tough though um and i did actually this is the one prompt that i'm doing this for i'm giving an honorable mention to the Too faced italian spritz palette because um this also just offers a lot of variety 
it gives me warm weather feelings it gives me vacation vibes and i would be really happy to have this palette with me on vacation as well i would feel like i have just quite a few options quite a different ways that i could take a look i can do something deeper with the blues i can do something like fun with the oranges and the bright yellow um i can do a pop of color there's pinks um so I am giving an honorable mention to that, but truly if someone was like, you literally can only bring one palette, it would be ColourPop Lemoncello. Next up we have graduation and it is, it's been many moons since I graduated and my daughter won't be graduating um, high school for another 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, another 10 years, thank God. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. <laughs> but. If I were to like be invited to somebody's graduation or if I were to like say go back and get my master's, do you walk for that? I wouldn't, but let's just, let's let's go that route. <laughs> um, I selected the Patrick Ta Major Dimension One. This is a palette I knew I wanted to select for a prompt, but I wasn't sure which prompt because I feel like this one could fit so many different occasions. Like this could also be like an everyday palette. This could also be like my go-to work palette, but I selected this for graduation because I feel like it gives me like neutral warms and if I wanted like for say like the actual ceremony to go like a little bit like maybe just a soft matte look but then like we were going out to celebrate after and I had this sitting in my car I could pop one of these more like intense foiled shades on top to just like go from like graduation like is it coronation graduate I don't it, the graduation ceremony to graduation celebration if you, if you know what i mean do you feel me do you get where i'm going with this um i just love this palette so much and this could have fit a number of different occasions for me um almost forgot to mention my vacation palette in 2020 was the huda coral obsessions not surprised at all that palette went on so many vacations with me and that was like when like i was going on vacation all the time because it was pre-covid i mean granted 2020 december was like the end of covid but like thinking through all the vacations i had been on before then like the, the coral obsessions came with me all of the time and then for graduation in 2020 i said the abh soft glam so i have decluttered that from my collection i actually gave that to my mom and i asked her recently if i could like have it back so like we're kind of like trading back and forth even though i haven't really used it i'm like okay I didn't need this, but for graduation, I picked Soft Glam, which actually Soft Glam and the Major Dimension one have a lot of similarities. So overall, like the th the theme of what I would have been going for for graduation has seemed to stay consistent. Okay, I'm going to be the most basic B here <laughs> for Christmas. I'm that person. Like I am that person. Now, I will say for Christmas, usually I don't wear makeup at all, but if I was, I would go with the Odin's Eye Merry Christmas palette. Um, just because I feel like there's, I mean, it just, it looks like Christmas. I would love to do something for Christmas with like this beautiful, like teal green sort of shade. Again, I typically don't wear makeup to Christmas. It's usually a very like relaxed situation, but if I was doing something slash around Christmas time, this is a palette I will absolutely be reaching for. So last time I did this video, I said the, where is it? Oh, the Huda Smokey. <laughs> So I think I said um, that like the Huda Smokey would really match any sort of like matching pajama set that we may have been wearing at the time. Um, but I'm actually really surprised that I picked Smokey. Um, I would have like Smokey was also a palette that used to come on vacation with me a lot. Um, or like I could have seen that being like my New Year's pick, but I'm surprised that I chose Christmas Day for that. But whatever. Next up we have office or work or like every day, like you're wearing this palette to work. And for me, I selected the Tartlet in Bloom for this. This is just, first of all, I've repurchased this palette because I was missing it in my collection. When I traveled for work in February, I brought this palette with and it's like all I wore. It's just easy because you can do something just so simple and so like not in your face. But this palette can also really take you from day to night. There's, you know, it's a very neutral, like cool neutral palette, but there's a lot you can do with this palette. So for where, and I feel like if this was like, if someone said you can only choose one palette to wear to work for the rest of the year, this would, it's such an easy reach. Like if I'm running out the door, like, but still want to wear makeup to work, I don't really have to think about what I'm doing when I reach into this palette. I can just reach for like a shade or two and like feel good to go. So Tartlet and Bloom last in 2020, I said 
In 2020, I selected the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette, which I'm just so surprised about. Now, granted, the things that I do for work have changed <laughs> since 2020 till now, but still I'm like, I don't, I'm surprised. Granted, the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette is like a very neutral, like again, easy reach sort of palette, but I was a little bit surprised that that was my answer. For the prompt birthday party, which I don't go crazy for birthdays. I do like to, around the time of my birthday, go on some sort of like trip or vacation. That is what I like to do. I don't like to make it like a whole month celebration, but you know, I like to travel. I like to travel. Uh, but if I'm going to like a friend's birthday party, the palette that I picked was my Natasha Denona gold palette. Reason being is I feel really pretty in just like neutral or warm browns with like a pop of gold. And I feel like it really like spices, like a pop of like a green gold really spices up a look to make it look like you put in like a ton of effort, like you really went wild with your makeup. Um, not like wild, but like you really put the effort in when this palette is so easy to work with. I can grab for two matte browns, pop this shade on the lid or even this shade, and it looks like I spent a lot of time on my makeup, but I didn't. And I always feel pretty when I when I wear this. I also feel like it can really serve a purpose for like a variety of occasions, depending on like whose birthday it is, what season is it, what activity are we doing. So this overall, I feel like encompasses easy use for like any sort of birthday party, even like, you know, Zoe will be turning eight this year, so her birthday party. In 2020 for this prompt, I selected the ABH Jackie palette, which doesn't surprise me because um, I have the go-to look that I described to you guys in when I talked about what I would select, what occasion I would select that palette for this year. Um, and that is another look that like, I feel like would be really versatile, versatile depending on, you know, whose birthday it is and what we're doing. So wasn't really surprised to see that one. For everyday errands sort of situation, I'm going with my NARS Orgasm Rising Palette. I love this palette. I think it's very like, you can go really soft with this, but you can really build this up. You can go easy one and done with one of these more like really thin shimmer shades. They're not like metallics. They're like a really thin lid topper, but a really beautiful one and done sort of shade. You have, you know, you're just easy neutral browns in here your neutral matte browns but you also have some deeper metallic brown shades as well so if you're wanting to like go a little heavier with your makeup or if you want to create a wing whatever it might be you really have those options with this palette now this is not a palette that's going to you know produce a wide variety or a wide range of different looks but it really gives me everything that I need that I need for everyday day-to-day -day wear. Uh, last time I did this, I said the Natasha Denona Mini Nude, which I thought about selecting Mini Nude for this prompt again. This is the one that like I was like, ah, the closest to picking the same palette. But in the Mini Nude, you only have five shades, whereas this one just gives you, you know, four extra shades, a little bit more variety. You have shades that you can do like a one and done with, which for every day, I really like to have that option. I don't necessarily I feel like the Natasha Denona Mini Nude provides a one and done shadow option. So I would go with NARS Orgasm Rising. And then the last prompt that I did in 2020 or the last occasion was New Year's. And for that, I selected the ABH Sultry, which I was not surprised that that was my answer. Um, I didn't need to watch back that video to know that I was going to select that. Um, I'm currently working on that as my pan that palette. So it's not what I would choose right now because I've used that a lot. There's a sh some shades that are, you know, empty or close to being empty. I'm also just getting kind of over that. So I feel like this one might be a little bit shocking, but I did want to go for a cool toned smoky palette and I would need to set aside a lot of time to create my makeup look for New Year's, which also I'm just not going out for New Year's, like let's be honest, but this is like if I was going out for New Year's. I would select the Melt Mary Jane because I have mentioned before, this is like one of the most frustrating palettes I've ever worked with. There's so much fallout and it can be super frustrating, but if you really sit down and take the time to create a look with this palette, I've loved every single look that I have created. And it is, they are very like deep, smoky eye looks, which is, you know, what I'm going for or what I've gone for in the past when I've gone out on New Year's Eve. So I would select Melt Mary Jane for that prompt. 
Okay, you guys. And then I have five additional prompts, which one of these was included in my 2020. It was a fall activity, i.e. the pumpkin patch. And I don't know if that was one of the original prompts or if I had just thrown that in. So that's the only other one that I have another palette that I have selected in the past. And in the past, I selected the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Not surprising, a very basic B answer. But this year, um, if I was going to the pumpkin patch, which I will go to the pumpkin patch this year, my palette is going to be the Natasha Denona Biba palette. This just looks like a pumpkin patch in a palette to me. This screams fall. You have a lot of like warmer browns. You have like this rusty orange. Um, you have an, well, a rusty orange and like a rusty yellow. You have some really beautiful bronzes. You also have your smoky row if you're wanting to do something a little bit more smoky. And for me, this this just screams fall in the pumpkin patch to me. So my pick this year would be the Natasha Denona Biba. And then I kind of wanted to go through every season. Um, I thought that that would be fun. So for a summer activity, such as like going to the fair or mini golfing, um, where's my palette? Oh yeah, it is the Sigma Corderosa love this palette for the summer it just it's so rich in its coral tone and there's these really really beautiful metallic shades right here i just feel like you can go like a lighter coral if you just do like say you just did this in the crease really beautiful but then say you want something more intense um you also have the shade high society up here which is so gorgeous i just enjoy this palette so much in the summertime so summer activity we're going summer or we're going sigma corderosa winter activity for us in minnesota you know we do things like we have ice sculpture like not parades what would it be like everybody creates ice sculptures and then you go and like look at the ice sculptures like those are the things we're doing in the winter here in minnesota people go ice fishing that is not me not me if you were to go to like a ski lodge maybe um and just like sip hot chocolate but not actually ski i mean i do ski and snowboard it's been quite a while but winter activity here in minnesota i'm going with the nabla cutie platinum um i do feel like i may need like a companion palette for like a more mid-tone brown shade but what i loved i wanted something blue i would have to like pair this potentially with like a single shadow like a lighter blue shade for like the inner corner but i really liked the shade luxuriance and gem system for just like a just that like intense sparkle like the snowy sparkle like you're in like a snow globe potentially hopefully you're not like actually in a snow globe but it, this just like gives me winter feelings i don't really know how to describe why um but for a winter palette pick for a winter activity that i likely wouldn't be attending like i don't know that i've ever gone to an actual ice sculpture thing but we have like cider fests in the winter too like there's activities that would be my palette pick for a spring activity for us here in minnesota there's not a ton of like specifically spring activities the best thing i could think of is like your patio drinking because like the sun's finally starting to come out it's starting to like finally get warmer for that i selected the kaleidos futurism 7 sashimi city just because you've got like neutral warm shades in here very easy to create like a base matte look and then you can just pop one of these sparkly shades on your eyes and you're gonna get the most intense sparkle and it just is so beautiful it's really gonna again kind of look like you took a lot of time and effort to do your makeup but really it probably took you three minutes um and you know if i'm like sipping on a margarita eating some chips and queso having like this really sparkly eyelid i'm gonna be feeling so pretty so this would be my spring patio drinking palette and then finally um we're gonna round it out with a my 15th occasion would be a concert whether it be a country concert you know i go to a lot of country concerts seems to be what i go to but yeah a concert um we all know i'm picking the desi katie Francation because this is my go-to concert palette i don't know what it is but every time i go to a concert i'm wearing these three mattes and then usually going over it with dirty money there's just something about that that just really brings out you know the best in me when we're going to a concert which i am not the type of gal you typically want to go to a concert with i i think my friends stopped inviting me to concerts for like a very brief moment because i was the girl that was like puking before the concert started there was oh my gosh backstreet boys florida georgia line and 
maybe Blake Shelton. I can't remember who the third one was. Um, they came to our city and we went to the concert and I'm not kidding you guys. We got into the stadium. We got there early, got into the stadium. I was like, I need a pretzel. I'm dying. We get to our seats. We're like sitting there waiting. I literally puke in the bleachers <laughs> before the concert even begins. And um, my fr my best friend, thank goodness, takes me up to the bathroom. We come back down and the like cleanup crew is literally cleaning my barf up. And I was like, I cannot go back there right now. The people sitting around us were like so irritated. I held it together for the rest of the concert. Um, but then like very shortly after that, we went to Luke Bryan. He was in TCF, not TCF. Yeah, TCF, US Bank Stadium. Sorry, TCF is the University of Minnesota Stadium. TCF, no, um, US Bank Stadium was the first event that like that stadium held when it first opened um, and love Luke Bryan, go to his concert, puke everywhere. Um, and so I think my friend stopped inviting me to concerts for a little bit and then like finally I got like one last chance and we went to, I think Blake Shelton and I, you know, I was a good gal. I didn't throw up. I, you know, maybe only had a couple of beverages and then, um, my friends invited me to another concert and it was, I think it was Blake Shelton again and Morgan Wallen. But at the time I, I literally didn't know who we were going to see. I just knew we were going to a country concert. Um, and I was just so excited to go to a country concert. I kept texting my friends and I was like, who are we seeing again? Who are we seeing again? And they were like, Steph, we're a little bit concerned. We're going to be met with like Steph circa like 2013 stuff again. Like are you going to the country concert for the right reasons of like seeing people or like you just going to drink? But I, I was good at that concert too. And by the way, Morgan Wallen, will you please marry me? I'm obsessed, so obsessed. When Morgan and I meet for the first time, I'll be wearing the Desi Katie palette because that is my go-to country concert palette. Um, but that is going to wrap it up for today's palette wardrobe tag. I actually had so much fun filming this video, so much fun. So thank you again, Steph for recommending that I do this because I just had a blast. Would love to know what palettes are you guys picking for each of these occasions? Are you surprised by the palettes that I picked or were you like, girl, you're so predictable? Let a girl know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video. I'm very excited because tomorrow is my palette collection and declutter video. And I declutter more than I expected to. It's not like super savage, not getting rid of half of my collection, but I declutter more than I expected to. So if you are interested, stay tuned for that tomorrow. Other than that, thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.